heat up the eyelash curler. Just make sure it's not too hot. Feel if it's too hot. <laughs> Hello guys, it's Justine. And today I'm going to walk you through my everyday skincare routine and my go-to makeup look. So for today's look, I opt for something minimal because I don't like putting a lot of products on my face. Yeah, let's get right into the video. First things first, we need to moisturize the face. So if I don't moisturize, the makeup will cling to my dry areas and we don't like that. Okay, we need to tie the hair first. So this is the Ordinary Moisturizer and what I like about this product is it's very moisturizing to the face. And what I like to do is I'm just gonna pat it on my face, give my face a little bit of massage. Just to get rid of the puffiness of my face. Also, don't forget your neck. Next step is this eye cream from CeraVe and my friend actually introduced me to this product and oh my god guys, this product helped me because I used to have really really dark under eyes. I'm gonna insert a photo here as in sobrang itim niya and this helped with the darkness. You only need a little bit of this product. I've been using this for about a year now and meron pa rin siya. So I think sobrang worth it the product. I'm just gonna pop it. And what I like to do is I'm gonna wait for at least about one minute to let the skin absorb all the products that I put on my face. Next is sunscreen. I highly advise you all to use sunscreen every day even if you're just inside the house because the UV rays are still present. This and just put it on my face. Again guys, don't forget the neck. Okay, now that I'm done with my skincare, let's go to my go-to errand look. This is the look that I go to whenever I want to look cute and sexy and snatch. So first things first, concealer. I don't usually wear foundation. Ever since I started my HRP, my skin has gotten a lot smoother. So I'm just gonna use a little of this around my under eye. Also, I like to blend it inwards, not outwards, because I have a really square face. So if I blend it outwards, it's just it will widen the face. It, but if you blend it inwards, it will make the face look narrower. If that makes sense. So now let's go on with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the Morphe 35O palette. So I'm just gonna use this natural shade to have definition on my eyes. We're just gonna warm up the lids. And I also like to blend it up, have that lifted look. To add more definition on my eyes, I'm gonna use this darkest shade right here. And I'm gonna put it on top of my eyelashes, as close to my eyelashes as possible. And I'm gonna use an angle brush for more precision. On to the next eye. Just to diffuse the harsh edges, I'm gonna blend it using the brush that I used before. Now I'm going to teach you a beauty hack. I actually uploaded this hack on my TikTok. If you have Asian lashes that go down, this is a hack for you all. All you need is an eyelash curler and a lighter. You can use a blower, but I don't have a blower, so I'm just going to use a lighter. I'm just going to heat up the eyelash curler. Just make sure it's not too hot. Feel if it's too hot. <laughs> Curl the lashes. For my favorite part, let's do the mascara. I actually love the Heroin Make Mascara, but I found an alternative. And this is a lot more cheaper. 300 something on Shopee. So what I like to do is I'm gonna tilt my head, look down, and comb the lashes. Don't forget the ends. 
I mean, look at the difference. Okay, to bring color to the face, I'm going to use this colorette tint in Ava. Okay, I'm so glad I saw this one on TikTok because I love their um, pigmentation and their, their non-drying. I really have dry lips. And this product is top here. Shake, shake, shake. Okay. Whew. So I'm gonna put it right above here. What's ever left on my hands, I'm gonna put it here on the bridge of the nose. Okay, that's it for the blush. Now we're going to highlighter. This is actually from Sonny's and guys, I'm obsessed with this product. If you want to have that glass skin, that healthy, natural glass skin, Go get this product. I mean, look. It has this um, creamy consistency. By the way, this is the shade Cosmic Girl. All you need is a tiny bit of this product and you're good to go, I swear. So I like to put it on top of my cheekbones here. I like to put it here. It will give you that healthy, glowy look. I mean, guys. I'm obsessed. I love it. <laughs> I love it. This is such a game changer. I swear. Okay, so to prep the lips, I'm going to use this Dr. Pao Pao Tinted Balm. I actually saw Carl John Cruz use this product when he was helping us with our thesis, and I was like, I need to get this. I need to get this. I need to get this. It has a little bit of tint. So for the lips, I'm going to use two shades. They're actually from Colorette again. I really love Colorette, guys. I'm going to use the shade Zola and Ava. Give a little that. I want to feminize my features. So I'm gonna ever so slightly overline my lips. Okay, to add more depth on my lips, I'm going to use the shade Ava and I'm gonna put this on the center of my lips. It will give you that illusion then of a... Again, I'm gonna use my finger to blend. go to Erin though. I hope you guys learned from this and enjoy this video. Yeah, see you guys.